What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Jeremy and this is Jeremy's Wild World. As you saw for today's title, today's video is going to be the video on the Eastern Invert Show 2022, the Bedford Invert Show. Now this was an absolutely fantastic show and I can't say enough how much of a good time that I had. And what makes this video special is that it does include myself vending for the very first time under my own brand name. Now, this is really, really exciting stuff. If you did see my announcements video, it was my very first time vending on my very own table with my own stock. Really, really exciting stuff. Um, I didn't get too much footage, um, but mostly today's video is going to be what I decided to pick up and uh, have a little brief of how I set up my table at the Invert Show. What a fantastic day. And I can't wait to show you guys all the clips I managed to get as well as my pickups for today. Now, before we get into today's video, guys, I just want to quickly say that according to my YouTube statistics, a lot of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more, click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. Now, whilst I'm in my Bugman Sam attire, my robe, <laughs> let's jump straight into today's video. All right, guys. So as you can see right here in the back of the car, including the Angry Bird pillow, that's for sale. I'm joking. It's not for sale. <laughs> As you can see, I've got everything all packed up, ready to go. Um, I've just got a couple bits. So uh, this is for Ben, uh, a couple of stuff that we're trading. I've got some stuff that I don't really use anymore, like enclosure wise, um, livestock, livestock and livestock. And then in the back, I've got my dry stock. You'll see that later on. Um, there's basically some flake soil, uh, my own Detrivore mix, uh, basically stuff for isopods, millipedes and stuff like that. Um, I call it Detrivore Delight. Uh, I've got that in there and a little bit of rotten white wood. Um, but yeah, so that's everything in the car. Let's get on our way to Bedford. What an absolutely fantastic day. I've just gone home, as you can see, I can still got my wristband. My hair is a mess, um, but I just came home from the show. What an absolutely fantastic day. I couldn't have asked for a better one. I sold a lot more than I was expecting today. Um, between the two tables, I actually ended up selling pretty much a whole table's worth of inverts and dry goods and stuff like that. So again, thank you so much to everyone who's recognized me from YouTube, as well as people I've met today coming up and purchasing some stuff. And I hope you guys are here to support me here more in the future. As this is only the beginning, I'm hoping that I will be able to establish my business along with my YouTube channel in regards to breeding miscellaneous inverts, such as true spiders, scorpion centipedes and stuff like that. Now, I do apologize for the lack of clips of the show honestly i was so so excited to get my table already i actually forgot to record stuff as i was going around talking to people as well i completely forgot to record a couple of clips but i did show a couple of things those leaf cutter ants were beautiful and those crabs that bugs uk had were absolutely hilarious no i did not get one but they're absolutely hilarious they were massive just comically big they were so funny um but yeah so let's get into the part that you guys are probably looking forward to the most what did i pick up at the show Wow, wow, wow. What an absolutely fantastic day. As I said in a previous clip, I did a lot better on my table than I expected for the very first time me vending at a show under my own brand name. It was absolutely fantastic. You know, setting up the table was just amazing. Like small things like that, you probably would think like, oh, it's just, you know, setting up the table. But like, you know, the very first time me vending at all, setting up the table, making sure the stock looks good and everything like that. And, you know, talking to the people coming up to you and asking advice on certain species because it's nice to see that the stock that I'm going to be hopefully working with in the future 
the stuff that people don't typically see like you know i've had people come up to me saying oh captain bread huntsman's and captain born um vinegaroons and other stuff that i brought like you know it's not typical stuff that you see at the shows and that's what i want to capitalize on with my business is of course as i said in the beginning in my announcement video the way I want to be breeding is breeding miscellaneous inverts that aren't typically seen in the hobby consistently and establishing captive bred populations. But enough about the rambling guys, again I had a fantastic time and now we're going to move on to the part you guys are probably looking forward to the most, what did I pick up at the show. Now I did go a lot livestock heavy today in, in comparison to dry stock, um, didn't really get much dry stock at all. Uh, but yeah, so let's just show you um, the stuff that I actually bought rather than pre-ordered dry stock wise. Uh, basically, it's not not a lot it's just a bunch of these um little all well, these like sauce pots uh with the lids as well i think i got yeah i got a hundred pots to be honest i should have bought a lot more because i have a lot of true spider slings that i'm going to be hatching soon and obviously i need something to put them in to separate and raise them up so i got a hundred of these uh for i think they were three pounds a piece and yeah so that's pretty much like dry stock that i actually bought at the show i did pre-order a couple other bits um, but before we move on to the main pickups um, i'm just going to show you some trades that i did with ben so ben over at the phasma farm did also help me out at my table he brought a little bit of stock of his um, and we did a little bit of a trade for some stuff that i was going to give him he gave me some really cool things so the first thing i want to show you guys are these and of course this is not their temporary tub uh, well it is their temporary tub it's not their permanent one i just dug them out to show you guys um but these are uh dorcas titanus larvae and you see i got three i believe these are l young l2s or late l1s uh, but they're absolutely beautiful dorcas titanus bred by ben himself i didn't have any luck breeding dorcas titanus so a massive props to you ben for sorting these out for me uh, fingers crossed i do get a pair from one uh, but if not, I do know the spy shop do occasionally get Dorcas Titanus in. So hopefully, if I can raise these guys to maturity, um, I'll be able to get a nice breeding group in regards to Dorcas Titanus and try them again. Um, so yeah, Ben, thank you for that. Just pop these to the side. And then the last thing I got was, first of all, my mature male Balfouri back um, from a good friend of mine, Ryan, from Animal Lad. So I loaned him my male. And the reason I got him back uh, so soon um, is because I got this girl from Ben as well. As you can see right here, an adult female freshly molted Monocentropus Balfouri. Look at her. Those colorations are absolutely beautiful. And yes, I did say that I was going to move away from breeding tranches. Uh, but you know, you can't go wrong with Monocentropus Balfouri. Like, you know, I couldn't always do a communal. I've always wanted to try a communal balfouri so if i do get a successful sack from her i can always try a balfouri communal and then sell off excess slings um but yeah so that's the trades that i got as well as the dry stock that i picked up at the show let's move on to my spider shop pre-order and stuff i picked up from the spider shop because there is a lot of stuff we can now move on to the largest part of my pickups from today, which is actually mostly a pre-order from the Spider Shop. So if you guys aren't aware that Spider Shop do get frequent imports in from uh, Thailand and stuff like that. So they did have the Taiwanese import come in and they had a bunch of Sporacidae. And you know me, guys, I love my Sporacidae. As you saw from my top five true spiders, Sporacidae are some of my favorite spiders to keep. So I got a bunch of sex pairs in the hopes that I'm able to breed them. Um, so yeah, let's just start by showing you what I got. So... I started off with a trio of Hetropoda Boi. So here are these guys here. So as you see, this is a really plump female. So fingers crossed this one's gravid. Now these will of course be called captive born, not captive bred. Um, so if she is gravid, well, I hope she is. Look how big her abdomen is. Um, if she is gravid, then these slings coming from her will be captive born. So that's one female there. And the other female is right here. You see a lot skinnier, but still absolutely gorgeous nonetheless. Female Heteropoda boi. And then we've got the male who's just up here. Now you can tell the difference with Sporacids in regards to sex through their pedipalps. You can see kind of maybe the male's pedipalps are a bit bulbous in regards to the females. And you can tell he's a lot smaller and the females as well so i did get a breeding trio of hetropoda boi in hopes that i can establish some pairs here in the uk 
uh, from raising the slings of course i will hopefully be keeping these slings from these two females separate in order to have some good bloodlines and established pairs and stuff like that um, so i can start uh, distributing them throughout the uk next up i got a sex pair of hedgepoda david bowies so let's start off with the female as you can see right here here she is now i don't think this is an adult female i think this is more sub adult female as you can tell by the size you did see before i had my hedgepoda david bowie adult female she's a bit bigger than this girl uh, but that's fine because the male i don't think he's mature yet as you can see he's just tucked down here a lot smaller you can see here there's his bulbous petty pups i think he's still sub adult don't think he's mature yet um, but yeah so sex pair of hedgepoda david bowie's to give these guys a go again really really fun working with the last pair i had fantastic stuff uh, next up I've got a sex pair of Ritima, uh, or Ritima, uh, god, the Fire Huntsman's the pig, I'll put the scientific names down here as I'm reading them off anyways, uh, but yeah, so as you can see here is the male of the Ritima uh, Fire Huntsman's, <laughs> uh, but here's the male, and the female is just here as you can see right here now what's great about these ones is that they're sexually dimorphic meaning that there is a clear difference between males and females um, so yeah so i got a sex pair of the fire huntsmen which is beautiful pop these to the side that'll be a fun project to work with um next up i did also get two large females of Ritima species black i've just got them right here so unfortunately there weren't any males so i just said to give me some larger females in hopes that they are gravid and i can hatch the eggs and raise um some pairs up from the two so as you can see here's one here really really plump really really stunning i will hopefully get some photos and post them on instagram so if you guys don't follow me on instagram already definitely do so because i will be taking some really nice macro shots of all of these spiders and here is the other one right here right in my species black now those are the confirmed species of huntsmans well more the right species black they might be um uh hedgepoda species black but not too sure i think they're more right up just because of the size of chelicerae or the fangs um and yeah so those are the more confirmed species now we can move on to the random species that they had in as well so starting off oh, i've got two beautiful ones i'll show in just a second but we'll start with the random random ones um first of all we've got this little sporacid right here who's actually already on an egg sac so that's really exciting fingers crossed this egg sac is fertile um but yes this is really really gorgeous it's got like blacks it's kind of uh foggy the cup but um the the colorations on this spider are absolutely gorgeous black and red really really stunning quite small as well see in comparison to my thumb but yeah hopefully this one is gravid uh pop this cup to the side here Next up, we've got this little guy right here, who I believe is a male just from the size of his petty pouts. Uh, I don't know if this is actually a sporacid. Don't think it is, but nevertheless, really, really pretty. It's got reds and greys on the abdomen. And then we've got the final one, which is down here. Thank God we can get a nice look at her. Similar to the one on the egg sac with the red legs, uh, black carapace and a brownish gray abdomen. Really, really stunning. I believe this is a adult female as well. So fingers crossed it is gravid too. That's the main thing with these guys. If they aren't um, already uh, ready to pair, I hope that the pairs are already gravid like that really large bow eye in order to get some slings, raise them up and start getting more captive bred uh, spiders here in the UK. Now we're gonna move on to these two, which are absolutely stunning. Like these, when when Lee first got the import here, he messaged me straight away in regards to if I wanted these, and definitely I do. I'm gonna pop the lid off for you guys for these, just because they are that beautiful. Now check these out. Oh my goodness. Take a look at her, she is absolutely beautiful. She has eaten, um, I did give them all some roaches last night, but look at the texture on the legs, the fur, the colors just absolutely beautiful these are both females as well these are i don't know what these are to be honest with you but they are absolutely stunning nonetheless so that's the first one that's more of a lighter white and then we've got this one as well right here 
oh my god just take a look at these look at the greens the fluff oh when lee messaged me i was like dude just don't even bother throwing a price just give me them i want them i don't care how much they are and oh my god just look how beautiful if anyone knows what exact species these are do let me know uh, down in the comments below because i couldn't find anything after doing some extensive research in regards to what these could potentially be so these could potentially be an unidentified sporacid if they are sporacidae um but yeah so i got those so those are all the sporacids and what was hilarious is as i set up for the show and i popped over to the spider shop um to collect my stuff they just had a massive poly box of all of these deli cups inside i was like oh my god this is so much but this stuff is definitely worth it guys because as i did say i am going to be working with these in order to get captive bred um specimens in the future of course with these guys mostly will be potentially uh, captive born stuff um, but i do have the males of the david bowie and the bowie so hopefully i will be pairing them up and get actual captive bred first generations in the uk now the last pre-order i did get from them is a sex pair of trap jaws trap trap, trap door uh, <laughs> sorry you guys can tell i am tired <laughs> i'm recording this literally after i got home from the show i apologize um but yeah so i did get a sex pair of trap door door spiders see i i've got messed up from the trap jaw video i made um but yeah so i got a sex pair of lephistus i think it's jirani or jirani um, but as you can see, this is the female right here. I'm just going to pop the lid off because these guys are very faulty. I don't want to spook them too much. Um, but just take a look at her. Absolutely stunning. So these are the primitive trapdoors. A really, really large trapdoor species. Um, but yeah, so Lee was kind enough to message me saying that he did have a sex pair. If I wanted them, I could have them for a really, really good deal. Um, and I said, yes, throw them at me, dude. I would love them. And here is the male right here oh jesus oh my god yeah i'm not taking the lid oh god he's slapping the ground and everything but yeah here he is i'm not gonna pop the lid off because i do not need a giant trapdoor spider sprinting around um but yeah so they're absolutely beautiful hopefully i can get these captive bred because that would be fantastic captive bred um trapdoor spiders here in the uk um but yeah so do you think that's all of it no i know this clip is going a lot longer it's almost 10 minutes guys but i did just get a couple more things from the spider shop so i'll quickly go over those before i move on to the rest of my pickups okay so more spiders guys i promise they're not sporacids they're satanids um so i did pick up two of these um here's a scientific name africa tennis uh po -silis? Po -po 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 -silis? Brucillus, uh, the gold fang wandering spider. Um, now, these aren't confirmed Africa tennis, um, so I'm just going to refer to them as a satenid. Uh, but as you can see here, I did sex these out as females, larger ones on the table. Absolutely stunning. Both really, really beautiful. And you can tell why they have the golden fang. Um, as you can see, really, really nice speckled gold coloration all around the body and the abdomens are beautiful and 15 pounds for the pair absolutely fantastic stuff so got the africa tennis uh two of these and then last but not least i got some millipedes now these are pill millipedes and these specifically are the um uh what are these uh the r carnifex commonly known as the candy pill bugs now, I've got six of these in the hopes that I will be able to get these captive bred, as I have heard that these specific ones have been bred in captivity beforehand. And if you're wondering why the substrate does look a little bit different, um, if you have gotten stuff from the spider shop, they do put coca fiber in it. Um, so I wanted, as soon as I go home, to get that off it. I don't want them eating that because it's not good for the millipedes. Um, so I use my own mix. But as you can see right here, they are very, very beautiful, all doing fantastic. So I will be setting up an enclosure uh, for these guys with tons of moss and uh, lots of this substrate i actually make this myself so if you guys are interested in a pre-mixed substrate that's fantastic for detritus inverts do let me know and i will sort some out for you Ooh. rolling around there we can see right there look at the legs wiggling so so cute i really hope i can get these captive bred um because these will be absolutely fantastic to establish here as well um but yeah so that is the end of the spider shops pickups finally i do just have a couple more stuff that i'm going to show you guys more pre-orders and stuff like that 
and we'll end today's video but yeah so that's the spider shop stuff done let's move on to the other pickups and just before we move on to the other pickups that i got at today's show i just want to mention a couple gifts uh slash trades that i got um from a couple guys here today at the bedford show now first of all uh rob from spoons and stuff a massive shout out to you because this that you gave me was absolutely fantastic let's just take a look here guys like come on rob you did not have to give me this enclosure as well like a massive custom and curry enclosure already decorated and everything looks amazing like i love this enclosure dude thank you so much now what rob was originally going to give me was this dude right here if i just move down here as you can see this is a mature male cupiana sale now i did ask him for this male because i am looking to breed me and my friends female um, and then after that i will be sending him off to other people because i know a couple people who i'm quite friends with uh, who need some males so i will be sending him off for breeding uh, as well so we can get more cupiana sale up for grabs um but yeah so cupiana sale again thank you so much rob for this enclosure it looks amazing um and i will definitely be putting it to good use i will not be touching this at all and changing it i will keep it just as it is and what i'll most likely do is after the breeding i'll pop one of the hetroproda boi females in here um, because this enclosure is just oh it is amazing thank you thank you so much um so yeah so i got this enclosure when he pulled up to it you just saw you should have saw the look on my mum's face, dude, because I already picked up my true spiders and it was a lot. And then when you gave me this, she was like, oh my god, how much did you spend on this? I was like, I promise I didn't pay you, it's a gift, it's a gift. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just pop this to the side for now. Again, thank you so much, dude. Um, now I'm going to talk about the trade that I did with a lovely guy called Andy Hood, uh, who I know from Facebook. So he came up to me with all of these slings right here, as you can see here and here now i don't actually know how much is in here i think it's three, 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 four, five, 15 in each one um so you know 30 slings that he brought along and he was looking to do a trade with me i was originally going to buy these from him uh really cheap again but he said oh if i have anything that i'm interested on the table uh do you mind if we just do a swap or do a price equivalent and i was like yeah sure find a couple of things that you want he ended up grabbing a few david bowies from me so again dude thank you so much and i hope you enjoy them uh they're a little bit more grown on uh than i originally was selling them at um but yeah so as you can see right here um i've got so in this tub i've got hetropoda javana and then in this tub i've got um barrelestes scatatus uh, i think he said barrelestes i can't remember the other one um uh, but most likely uh scutatus. um both uh captive born egg sacs i believe um so fingers crossed i'll be able to raise these up and hopefully i'll establish some pairs and then once i shall get some more of the barrelestes and scutatus, i'll buy the opposites um if i have more than another and i'll dish them out as pairs so wild caught versus a captive born uh, and then breed those for captive bread um so yeah so i got all of this stuff again thank you so much guys shout out to andy shout out to rob thank you so much it's very very much appreciated like i just i still can't get over this enclosure i'm sorry but <laughs> so yeah that's, that's enough about uh, these two again i know i've said this enough already but thank you so much again let's move on to the other pickups that i got at the bedford show. since this video has been going on a lot longer than i had anticipated i'm just going to combine the rest of the stuff that i picked up together so all different kinds of companies um because most of the stuff that i did get was pre-order stuff um as i did mention um so let's move on to the rest of the pre-orders so starting off with from sidex and ebbs from invert kingdom uk i did pre-order a couple bits from them so as you can see right here guys i did get some cupiana sale from them so i'm hoping it's a sex pair as you can see right here that potentially is the male and this one is the female right here as you can see um, but could potentially be both females but that's not a problem because i will show you later on i do also have a male on me at the moment so that's three females and a male uh, so yeah so a pair or potentially a pair of cupiana sale from sidex and ebbs so thank you very very much um for these guys very much appreciated um next up we've got another pre-order from the insect farm so they did a little bit of a deal where if you did some pre-order stuff um over 35 pounds you do get a free group of beetle grubs so that's what i did i did a little pre-order for them so what did i pre-order so i pre-ordered five of the mecarina agonensis uh i thought they were going to be the blue and white but full blue for um i think i got them at a discounted price anyways but an absolutely fantastic deal um i was full blue i definitely prefer much more than the uh, blue and white so that's really really exciting stuff um, i haven't had a chance to look inside of here as of yet but you can see here 
decent sized larvae, I think, a mix between L1 and L2s. Um, so yeah, got these here. Then the freebie larvae were these guys right here, as you can see. Uh, well, I say as you can see, can't really see. Oh, there you go. There's a couple of them in there, but these are the uh, flower beetles. The uh, scientific name will be down here. I can't remember off the top of my head, guys. Uh, but I did get five of these as a freebie. And then the other bits I got from them was pretty much the other dry stock I was talking about. Uh, three bags of uh, this size right here. Really nice sized um, bags of leaf mulch. Now, I do typically buy my beetle rearing stuff simply because I don't have access to collecting stuff much around where I live um, currently. So it's much easier for me to buy stuff online instead of going out and collecting it. Now, other things that I did get in a pre-order are some tarantulas. Now, although I am moving away from tarantulas uh, breeding wise, and uh, I am getting a few species that I am wanting to keep as pets and stuff like that. So I'll just scoot these guys to the side right here. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna show you absolutely gorgeous while she's out. I got a female Kilobrachis fimbriatus right here, as you can see. She is just popping her legs out. She is freshly molted. Um, but I'm not going to pop open the lid because I don't want her to bolt away. But she's freshly molted. Uh, the malt is, uh, well, it was somewhere in here. <laughs> Maybe she did take it down with her. Uh, but yeah, so she, she is freshly malted. Really, really good price um, from James. I uh, can't remember the name off the top of my head for your company, dude. But I will leave it in the description. As I did, I forgot to mention, uh, I will be leaving all the links to these guys' information down in the description below. So if you guys want to check out any of their companies, pick out some stuff definitely do so with the spider shop i do have an affiliation link so do feel free to check that out if you guys purchase stuff through the spider shop using that link i do get a little bit in return at no extra cost to you guys so if you want to show some support to me feel free to use my spider shop link um, but yeah so got a female uh, Calibracus fimbriatus and then the other female tarantula that i got was a female Samopius langenbertrii. Now this is a Samopius that's not commonly seen, so I had to get the opportunity to get both of these at a pre-order price. Um, so let's have a look, see if she's around here. Oh, there she is, right here. Now the glare's not doing any justice and the cup's a little bit foggy, but you can see just down here, really, really pretty. A smaller Samopius in regards to the Samopius genus, um, but absolutely stunning nonetheless. So I did get a pair, well not a pair, well two tarantulas today. And yeah, so let's talk about the pickups I actually got from the show. Um, so starting off with a couple Mantids. Now these came in a trade once again uh, from Liam over at the Mantis Den. So I had two uh, male uh, P. Lucassi, which are the Link Spiders, and he wanted them. And I said, do you want to just do a trade? Um, and he said, yeah, sure, what do you want? And I was like, um, what about these Mantis? And he was like, yeah, sure, I'll give you a couple. So the Mantis I got from him are the Asian Boxer Mantis, com uh, scientific name is Astuliosula phil philopus. Uh, as you can see right here, they are quite small, but what I love about these guys, so I got two of them, is the fact that their raptorials are comically large. You can see if I just zoom in here, look how fat those raptorials are. So, so funny. And I do believe I have a sex pair, which is fantastic. Um, I haven't had much luck breeding Mantis, but these are definitely one of my favorites, so I would love to give them a go. Um, and yeah, so thanks Liam. Hope you enjoy the male Lucassi if you are watching and fingers crossed the pairing is successful for you. Um, I did also get some roaches today guys and this is one I've been after for quite a while. The extinct cave roach, Simandona, uh, Simandoa cons... Oh god, today's video is just me mispronouncing scientific names, isn't it? The extinct cave roach, coming from Loach's Roaches. These are in fact extinct in the wild and they are now only found within captivity. Um, here is an adult specimen on the surface right now. Um, so yeah, I did get 10 nymphs for £30. Absolutely fantastic. Um, shout out to my friend Ryan grabbing these for me. Uh, whilst they were the last tub on the table and I was a bit busy on the table myself, um, he did grab these for me. So a massive thank you to you. Definitely check out Loach's Roaches for these. Fantastic stuff. And the last pickup that I got for today, guys, is some ant stuff. So starting off from... Ants HQ, I did pick up a lovely uh, formicarium. Now this is really, really cool because it is magnetic and stuff. As you see, it does connect to the nest and the outworld right here by magnets. And you can actually take off the front part to the nest. Uh, this is the red sheet, but you can actually take off this part. But I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I do plan on making a video. I mainly got this for my colony of Marana Plus Bicolor that I do have. They're getting on in numbers now. 
um yeah so i got this for a really really good price they were i think 60 something pounds and he gave them to he sold this to me for 60 so shout out to you dude thank you so much for sorting this out for me so i'll pop this to the side right here and along with that i did also pick up a colony of ants as well so i did pick up a colony of Campanodus maculatus the i think they're like a sugar ant um, I can't remember the common name for these guys, but yeah, so Campino Campinodus maculatus colony. Now, this was a fantastic price. So typically you'll see these as queens for just £50 online with no workers and an established colony like so with brew pile and workers. I got this colony for £30. He was selling them for £35. He did them to me for £30. So again, a massive shout out to you, dude. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to work with the species in regards to growing them up. Because as I've been told, they are similar to Nicobarensis in uh, colony growth. So fingers crossed I can get a outworld for these guys as well. And yeah, so that's pretty much all the pickups I got at the Bedford Show 2022. And, and I want to say again, guys, thank you to all of those that recognized me today and came over and supported me by buying some stuff. And thank you to the providers of the show for allowing us to have these fantastic shows every year. It's been an absolute blast and I just can't wait to do more shows. Fingers crossed I will be doing Brighton because I will have a lot of true spider stock ready by then. Um, so yeah, so, uh, that's all for today's video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. Let's get into the outro. So that is the end of today's video, guys. What do you think? An end to an absolutely fantastic weekend. Really, really fun time. And again, thank you so much to everyone who popped by the table and came and said hi. Even if you didn't buy anything, I really did appreciate you coming over and having a little chat with me. The old faces and the new is absolutely fantastic and is what I love about this hobby is that everyone comes together and talk like-minded about inverts and everything and you know I'm hoping to do many more of these shows as you can tell this is the start of my business and I'm hoping to progress further and further within the next years or so and I do have my eyes set on Brighton 2022 so fingers crossed I will be able to have a table there and I'll see you guys there yeah I believe it's November off the top of my head 13th I believe the show is um, but of course, if it does work out, I will be making another announcement video for me vending at the show. And also, I want to say I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the pickups I decided to get at the show. A lot of it was pre-order stuff and I did get a lot. This is probably the most livestock that I picked up at a show in one go. But again, really, really exciting stuff, especially the Sparassa days and stuff like that. I can't wait to hopefully be able to breed some of these and raise up the slings and stuff like that. And yeah, so that is in today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. I'd also really appreciate if you guys were following me on Instagram, Jeremy's Wild World underscore as well as Jeremy's Wild World dot sales. I really act on Instagram posting pictures and videos of the animals and inverts I keep when I do not load on YouTube. That's all for me today, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs>